Hi, I am Ola Iwajo Ola Tsunayi. In previous videos, we looked at Google Docs, Google Slide, and Google Drive. This video will give you an overview into Google Spreadsheet. What is Google Sheet? Google Sheet is an app that you can use to create powerful and complex spreadsheet. In your spreadsheet, you can make your data pop with colorful charts and graph, use built-in formulas, pivot tables, and even use conditional formatting, which helps you save time and simplify common spreadsheet tasks. You can also use forecasting and a host of other options within your spreadsheet. In your spreadsheet, you can either start with a template that has been provided to you by Google, or you can create your own from the scratch. You can also access your spreadsheet from anywhere. You can access it on your mobile phone while in your house and come to the university and then access it on your laptop and you have the exact same content, even where there is no internet connection. And then you can also work with people, collaborate with them while working on your spreadsheet. You can share your spreadsheet with other students, edit it in real time, and then within that you can chat and comment on what work you guys are com completing. Now, since it's stored on the drive, automatically you never have to save again. You can even use revision history to see the version that you've worked on previously. And then it also works with Excel spreadsheet. You can drag or drop it from Excel into the Google Sheet and it converts it to, for you automatically. You can also use the Explore panel to get an overview of your data. You can have informative summaries, you can have colorful presentations using graphs, um, using charts. There's no limit to how you can format and present your data. You can also work with add-ons. And now we'll be getting started to see how Google Spreadsheet looks like. So to access it, I'm going to go to my browser and click on google.com slash sheets. Now, it takes me to this panel here where I have to choose my email and then I click on this, I click on next. And then it takes me all the way to the dashboard of my spreadsheet. One other way in which I can access my spreadsheet is to type sheet.new and then we go to the same page where we have Google Spreadsheet. So this is the Google Spreadsheet. So what we're going to be doing is change the name to class work 001. I click on enter and it saves it. As you can see, it says save to drive, which means um, automatically saving for us. We can also see at the bottom panel here, sheet one. We can change this. We can remain it to person. And then we can also create others. Another sheet here. Rename that to class. So we have our columns and row here. We can select any of these button here in order to select the all section or we can do this in order to select the all row. So these are our columns, these are our rows. Now if you want to select the all sheet, we just click on this button here where my mouse is and then you access the all sheet. So we have our many options here. We have the file, we have the edit, we have the view, we have the insert, we have the format, we have the data, tools, add-on, and help. We also have additional formatting options here, which we can use. So we would be starting with this. Um, for example, let me name. At this here, we can do name of students. Then we can drag this here. Then we have the age. Then we have the amount, so to speak. And for the name of student, we can write daily at the age 23, 
I'm on, I'm on page seven. We have um, Yemi Olu Olumbi, and then let's put that eight at twenty four. Amount is nine hundred. So you can see we've been able to add data into our spreadsheet. Then we can also format them any way we want. You can select this whole thing here, do this, it gives you this, and um, we can do this bold, it both said it had the same thing, and then same thing here, we can format it as we want. Like I said, we can also use formulas. For example, if I click on this, oh, before we go ahead, um, this is a, a cell named A1. This cell is A8. This cell is D10. You can see this is column D and we have row 10. So that is D10. That is how you label um, your, your cells in spreadsheet. So here at C4, if I click on this space and I put equals to 700, that's C2, plus C3, and I press enter, you can see it gives me the total of C2 and C3. So I don't need to save, it's already saved for me. So one other thing we would learn is how to share. Now, I told you you can collaborate with other students. If you click on this share here, it brings this bit where you can share. If I say OPO and I click on this, hi, can we work on this together? And I send it. The person that I sent it to will get a notification from Google saying he has been given access to work on this particular spreadsheet. And if I go back here, it says shared with one person. If I click on this, you can see the name of the person and the person is an editor. We can also see, we can make remove them, make them an owner, give them temporary access. We can make them a viewer or a commenter. We can also copy link. And if I paste it here, you can see that we can send to anybody. So. That is an overview of how we can work with Google Spreadsheet. Thank you for watching this video and for taking this course. Um, at the end of this session, you have access to assessments in which you are required to complete. And then we'll get back to you. Thank you very much once again. Have a nice day.